What's up guys, Rare Spark here and welcome to Spark at the Park episode 74. Now in this video I want to talk about being a good teammate at the park. Now I know this has been done before by a few people and even in my videos I think I've talked about it a few times before. But if you're playing with people you don't know, how are you supposed to be a good teammate? Now as you see there King Doom set me up early and uh, set me up nicely but I just wanted to talk about this because it pertains to this video really do you see the guy infections here he is not playing defense on his own man and he's just reaching at the ball handler the entire time and you'll see what he does on offense here in just a minute but he made me think about this and the thing the three most important things I ask people when they ask if they want to play with me when I'm streaming and stuff like that is do you take stupid shots do you, you know, pass the ball, move the ball, find the open man, and do you play defense? I think those three things are key. As long as you take the open jump shot, I don't care if you miss. As long as you play defense, I don't care if your man scores. You know, if you show the effort out there and you're trying to stay in front of him and you do your best and you go out for the block shot and everything, I don't care. And at the same time, if you're taking smart shots and, uh, you know, not taking contested jump shots with guys in your face then I'm fine with it and at the same time you gotta move the ball you cannot be a ball hog which is what this guy infections did now I was gonna show you what he did but uh, you'll see here with a few suggestions from a friend uh, he ends up getting the rebound here and you know what he thinks he's gonna get on YouTube by ball hogging well guess what buddy you're not gonna be on YouTube you're gonna get pixelated out so nobody can see what you're doing and this dude just held on to the ball the entire shot clock doing dribble moves at the half court line acting like he was a beast and just takes it in for a measly layup you know people like that ruin the park you know you can lose a game because of people like that depending on how well they can ball hog and stuff like that and uh, that sounds funny how well they can ball hog but in reality it's true you know people are some people are just very good at ball hogging they'll come down with a bunch of rebounds and hold on to it and take a bunch of jump dumb shots and stuff like that and so especially if you get one or two of those the other issue is when you're playing with randoms and I've been I've done this before as well you know when you're with your friends but if you're playing with two friends or I mean it's you and one friend you better move the damn ball I hate when I'm playing parks with randoms and the guys just pass the ball back and forth to each other and nobody else that thing aggravates the hell out of me you know if you're with three or four people I understand that you're trying to play with your friends and make the smart passes and you know your friends are gonna play smart and everything like that because you know your friends so I understand if you're playing with three or four people or even five obviously but then there's no randoms then you obviously are gonna try and stick the ball in your friends hands and every so often kick it out to the guy who's not your friend but I feel like if you only have two guys, that's not even the majority of the team. Don't be ball hogging it and don't be holding on to it and passing it only to your friend. That kind of stuff bothers me at the park. So I want to ask you guys, what are some of your biggest pet peeves at the park? Whether it be ball hogging, whether it be taking stupid shots, no defense playing, people that just spam the square button. You know, some people just hound the ball ho uh, ball handler on the other team. They don't care about their own man. They just sit there and just pick up the ball handler every time he's coming up the court. That kind of stuff pisses me off as well because that leads to an easy bucket for the other team once they figure out what's going on. And usually 9 times out of 10, at least halfway through the game, they'll figure it out and they'll just start hitting that guy. And hopefully you have a guy that can adjust. Otherwise, a lot of the time I see these guys always uh, like attacking the ball handler they really don't seem to change their game plan no matter what for whatever reason it is I don't know but they seem to always just forget that just guard your damn man I think that's really important to emphasize at the park and hopefully there there's no real way to fix it especially if you're playing with randoms I don't see how they could fix it you know there's no they can't force you to pass but um 
unless they implement some weird system where you have to like pass three times but i would hate that and i'm sure everyone else would so there's no real way to fix ball hogging it's just part of 2k and its community but i think the more you let it out there and people realize the way they're playing isn't good and you know they need to stop ball hogging then maybe if we get the word out it'll work and most of the community will stop ball hogging but this guy man he ball hogs goes back to half court line and gets called for a backcourt violation because he was trying to go so far back to do his stupid dribble moves. Now, oh, let me talk about this. Now, you see Chris Hardy and D2 Shifty and stuff. They're wearing the original brown and gray shirt and combo, whatever. You know, the noob combo. And uh, this is their new crew clothes. You know, their little uh, crew that they run with at the park. This is their new clothes. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. You know, people will be like, oh, man, we're versing some... Uh, some bums let's do it and then hopefully they can catch them by surprise now they didn't catch us by surprise because we know who they are but i could see other people doing that and like taking them lightly because they're all wearing the same newbie clothes and then uh realizing that they're actually a good squad but uh some people are superstitious as well like i believe dooms when we were playing this game they kept missing a bunch of jump shots which you'll see in, I'm, she, I'm sure you've seen already in this video but he believes that the you know brown brown shirt gray pants combo is cursed as you see dimer missing an open three there like it's just cursed you know if you're wearing that it lowers your attributes almost like that's what he likes to think so i think it could be true you know not literally of course but i just think it's funny maybe mentality wise maybe it changes your mentality in a sense you're wearing the newbie clothes so you start playing like a noob, and i think it's kind of funny but you know I just wanted to quickly talk about, you know, being a good teammate at the park and what bothers you guys and what bothers me and just show you an example because Infections here was a bad example of a good teammate. Let's put it that way. So definitely need to move the ball. That's one thing that's important. Like I said earlier, another thing is play defense. That's I can't stress that enough too. And then another one is take the smart shots. Don't be taking contested ones. As you see, Doom's ending it with a nice poster. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Spark at the Park, episode 74. I'll see you guys later. Let's try and get 100 likes on this video. Rare Spark, out.